is there literally anything I can do to rescue the look of these shorts in this video? Like, <laughs> they just don't look good. Oh, Buddha it is. Whew, my air conditioning is off, which can only mean one thing. We're filming today and yeah, some of the stuff did not arrive for this video, but that's okay. I'm just gonna show you the bits that ended up coming anyway for the apartment. As you guys may have seen from the vlogs, I've gotten most of my furniture now. There's a couple of bits here and there that I'm picking up this week. Some Craigslist bargains and whatnot, Ikea. Again, I need to make one more trip to Ikea. But I am really starting to get into like soft furnishings now, little bits and bobs to just make the apartment seem a little bit more homely. As you can see, some of the prints are starting to get ready now. Not hung yet. And I might just kind of give you these little hauls and drips and drops. So if you like these kind of smaller hauls more regularly, then let me know and I'll do it that way. Speaking of prints, this one right here, which I know you can't see perfectly clearly, is the latest edition. I just made another society. Six order because I keep like misjudging how many prints this wall can fit and I think we can get away with a few more so maybe in the next haul I'll show you those as well but this is the latest edition I finally got like frames sorted I bought a couple of frames from Ikea um, and I love it it's really really hard to pick prints but I thought the colors in this were lovely and kind of went against the couch really nicely so that's the biggest and my most favorite print so far I got a bunch of really nice like minimalistic interior bits from H&M which I'll show you in a second but it's one or two other things. But first, I want to get some like random bits and bobs that I picked up over with. First of all, this little guy that's tucked up over here. This throw. I really, really love this throw. I think you can get a good idea of like the texture and the color of it um, from the camera. The lighting isn't too blown out. I picked up this blankie for around 50 bucks in Urban Outfitters online and I thought it was absolutely perfect for this apartment, perfect for summertime. I wanted something to make the velvet of the couch just a little bit more like summery and a bit more light. So I got this, it's not a hessian, but it's sort of like a like a cotton hand woven look to it. It's very stringy, it's very like stitched together and quite like it's merled, like it has these little, little dots in the fabric but they're actually like the fibers of the plant. So I don't know if it's like a cotton plant or whatever, but there's like little leaves like left into the fabric. And I actually really, really like that. It gives like a really earthy feel. And I don't know, it just gives it more of like a handmade look as opposed to like from a fast fashion store like Urban Outfitters. I mainly have it draped over here to protect the side of the couch because the couch is right next to the window and I'm really conscious of like bleaching the side of the couch and like washing out the color. I like styling it with the um, the cushion that came with the couch sort of resting on top just in case anyone else was looking for them. This is like so old school YouTube like I'm actually on here talking about curtains but hey go adulting 101. I'm really really happy that these match quite nicely with the with the blanket but they're basically linen long curtains because our windows pretty much go from almost floor to ceiling they're really really tall windows so we got these ikea linen curtains and they're really really beautiful they're kind of like semi sheer as you can see yeah if anyone is looking for linen curtains ikea has really nice really long ones and i'm excited to get these up and um, it's just more of kind of a barrier really just so in the evening people can't see and it's not like a proper blackout curtain or anything like that because we don't really need it we just want something to give us some like privacy um, on our main window here in the living space also can we just have a moment for how violently expensive curtains are like i've never had to buy curtains for my apartment they've always just come with the apartment but we've had to do all of that in this apartment put them up ourselves and everything like that and that shit expensive. Such a big part of interiors for me is like a good coffee table book. Like anywhere I've been that has a good coffee table book, I feel like it's just the one for me. So these are the two I picked up. I mentioned this one in my non-beauty favorites. If you haven't seen that, check that out because that video really didn't reach a lot of people's subscription boxes last week. So this was in it. It's the Kinfolk Interiors for Slow Living. A lot of the tones are similar to what I'm going for in the apartment, which is a bit more of like a warm, cozy vibe but still with a little bit of like mid-century modern a little bit of scandy thrown in there and um yeah this book just seems to have so much of those same colors did a little flick through in my favorites video as well but just to give you kind of 
some indication of like the colors they're very very similar this coffee table book slash birthday present for Cahill he's really into like tiny homes and cabins this is another book that I also saw in Goodhood when I spotted that kinfolk one so I kind of had it in my Amazon basket for him and for us because I quite liked the look of it it's very earthy and um, yeah it just has a bunch of like cabins tiny homes in it so it's called the hide and seek the architecture of cabins and hideouts most of the things that I got from H&M are just trinkety like bits like things that just style a home quite nicely I think I'm so happy with the things that I picked up well most of them you'll see a couple of fails in there too the one big bigger thing that I got from there practical thing that I got from there is a laundry basket so I got this H&M laundry basket I wasn't sure whether I wanted anything in the apartment with writing on it because I just feel like there's something about writing that looks a little less refined to me but I figured it's like plain on the other side I could kind of decide what I wanted there and it was really nice and really cheap and really practical I can just take this entire bag down to the laundry in the basement and yeah pretty cheap and cheerful I'm actually still howling at some of the fails from this um <laughs> this H&M haul but I'll show you guys anyway this apartment I have such a nice coffee table that I really wanted to style it up nicely I have a really super lovely tray coming from Wayfair that's going to like hold all of my, my little styled bits I don't even know what to call them anymore but I got a lot of stoneware inspired things like for example I've had my eye on this for ages I think it's so chic and so beautiful and I just can't believe it's H&M it looks like something you'd buy from a potter or from a ceramic store and of course it was like all very affordable and it has that like super matte texture and everything so it's just beautiful it has a very aesthetic scandy look to it I'll probably pop like a flower or something like that in it every now and again but I just love how it looks it'll either go sort of in the corner of my kitchen as a little styled area but it'll go somewhere either on my coffee table or there so I got this and I got a couple of things in the same color and texture I also got this mug don't ask me why I only bought one I think I'm just like testing out colors I wasn't sure whether I wanted the accessories and my bits around to be a light color or a gray or a black I didn't know what would suit but to me it kind of reminds me of nails on a chalkboard you know it has that really dry texture but sometimes I just buy stuff like this for styling shoots if I'm doing something foodie or I'm holding a cup of coffee for a photograph I like to have like I don't know like little prop pieces I guess so that's probably why I only bought one a couple of candles again I didn't know what color scheme I was going to go for for the little coffee table tray so I just got like a black candle which unfortunately took a beating as soon as I opened the package I dropped it nothing special there and <laughs> this is the start of some of the fails that happened I bought a bunch of stuff and here's the thing about the way H&M photographs their products sometimes yes they put the dimensions on there and I would always encourage people to check the dimensions but you know when you're just doing some sporadic shopping but for me online when you show a product you should also have like a picture for size comparison like comparing it to like your hand or something else so you can actually see and this is why looks can be deceiving on sites like H&M I thought this was going to be like a really big candle like it was going to be the size of this mug it's tiny but it's super cute it's a black mahogany scented candle and I have to say it smells absolutely divine I want my entire house to smell like this even though I probably won't burn it because it's so cute but yeah I was really hoping this would be bigger than I think on this little shelf that I have going back here maybe and then another two things that were vastly vastly smaller than I expected them were these <laughs> these were described as vases I'm pretty sure on the site or I don't know they just looked a lot bigger than this like the way they were photographed made them seem more like at least at least this size so I just when they came I was like oh my god this is ridiculous what am I going to do with these but they are very cute I wouldn't normally buy anything this small but I think it was almost good that it was an accident because I know I will find a place to put them and yeah it's like a little bronzy glass one and a little matte grey one that matches the other ones because again I didn't know what ones I wanted to go for so bit of a fail bit of a fail thankfully at least one of the vases that I got did come in a relatively decent size and I really thought these were all going to be like the same size <laughs> but this is a super cute very like Scandi minimalist vibe little rounded vase and I completely imagine like a cute little like stem of eucalyptus hanging out of this 
on my shelf or on my coffee table and um, I cannot wait to like style these little bits and bobs up. I think it's so pretty. It's a light matte grey. Quite happy with this. I would have loved if it was just like a little bit bigger but it's still I'm pretty happy with it. I can't complain. So I've been trying to play up this kind of wooden aspect with bits like this quite a lot because we have these beautiful warm toned. I never thought I'd like warm wooden floors but the flooring that they chose for this apartment is gorgeous. Beautiful like hardwood floors and I think it goes so nicely with the the navy and just bringing a lot of color into the apartment so I've been trying to find pieces like this to kind of pull the color up from the floor and into the space a little bit more and um, because obviously like a lot of the walls are white so yeah I really like little bits like this to kind of bring it all together so, and yeah those are a couple of small bits that have come for the apartment there's a bunch of like other stuff but I feel like it's like furniture type stuff that I can't like move and just show you guys so uh, I hope you don't mind what I did show you today because whatever like my channel is whatever I want it to be I, I need to stop thinking like that I need to show you an abundance of stuff just I mean just trying to curate everything and not waste money and um, to pick things really carefully to pick things I really really love and that just really called like my aesthetic and um, also having fun with the space this apartment is becoming like a real interior design project for me I haven't mentioned it much either but I've I kind of set a couple of guidelines for myself in terms of how I'm styling the apartment I'm trying not to break those rules I'm trying to really like challenge myself and just make this space as good and as me but as comfy as it can possibly be and I'm really having fun doing that I've just been trying to choose everything with a little bit more thought I've been like stacking stuff into my cart and really trying to think what's going to go with what like I don't want to do a lot of returns or a lot of hassle I kind of just want to try and get it as right as I can the first time so if you're on a similar interiors journey or you just want to zhuzh up some bits in your apartment I hope that you liked a couple of things I had to show you today I thought I'd just throw in that little chat there seeing as I didn't have a whole bunch to show you today um I guess I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching Please do not forget to subscribe and if you haven't already, check out the notification bell. It's the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button and I really appreciate it if you could choose to be notified when I'm uploaded because my videos are not getting to a lot of people and it just really helps me out and I promise you will not regret it. I only upload twice a week and you can pretty much set it to how many times you want to be notified. So check that bell button out and I'll see you guys in the comments below. Mwah.